We're live in three, two, one. Welcome back to the top of Tennessee. We're here to bring you the news, but not only the news, the good news. I'm Abigail. I'm okay. Our top story today is the governor. The governor is allowing people to go outside. <laughs> I'm gonna slap her on the face. I'm gonna slap her on the face. Things are starting to get better without the quarantine. Things are getting better with the quarantine. <laughs> we can we can go to the park, we can go outside, we can go to a couple of other places. The restaurants opened. So that's getting better. I need to put my pinky up. Uh, Our number one sponsor today is my dad. My dad is putting out agent marketing playbooks every month. Call his number under here to get one of his playbooks. Here we are with sports with River during quarantine. River. 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 How is sports during quarantine? Well, we had a meeting, the administration of all national and international sports and I, I was included obviously, obviously. Um, and they decided, because of social distancing, a lot of sports were canceled, so they decided to do a cricket spitting contest. So how, cricket spinning works is the contestants they put a live cricket in their mouth and they run up to the line and like I feel like the athletic ability to just do those things requires like Olympic level athletes but they go up to the line and they they spit it as far as they can the key is um, that once they spit, like once it, the cricket lands as far as it can go, it has to be able to stand up and jump and hop around or else it doesn't count. It has to be alive still because dead weight travels faster. Ooh. Thanks for the update on sports. <laughs> Our next story is about Kids going everywhere. They're running, they're walking, they're playing, they're playing hopscotch, they're riding their bikes, they're riding all kinds of things. They're going down the road, they're playing tag, they're jumping on a trampoline, they're building stuff, they're doing all kinds of things. Playing hopscotch. Playing outside or riding a bike. Or... And now we want to go to level with Bubba. I don't know how to. Looks like that's rain. What? Yeah. Up in Whoa. Freak up. Yep. Now we want to go to our sponsors again. Our first sponsor is 
my dad. Take 27. And now, welcome back to your new favorite show, Cooking with Coco. Today, we will be making a delectable treat. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may have made it. This is a dessert that can be made at home, it can be made at the cafe, it can be made anywhere. The ingredients that you will need for this delectable drink are a gallon of milk. See? Gallon. Beautiful. Yep. Then, chocolate syrup. Hershey's. Really any chocolate syrup works, but Hershey's is the best, obviously. And then, beautiful cup doesn't matter size however big you want it I don't care and then lastly a spoon to stir okay the easiest way that I have found to make this delectable drink chocolate milk is super simple actually I can't open it This has been cooking with Coco. And now we have a brand new sponsor we're doing this week, my dad. My dad has trouble kids. He has to close my eyes. Yeah, my dad has trouble kids. He has to close only. He has to close only. Yeah! Jesse! Yep. It's raining. Luke is going to give us news for the heart of healing. Our top story tonight. Our top story tonight. The governor. The governor has let everybody out to play has let everybody out to play good night and have a pleasant tomorrow good night and have a pleasant tomorrow Thank you.